All right, we've got Grid Legends coming out February 24th, and today we just got the system requirements list, and they honestly look pretty reasonable, although it's kind of the old school system requirements list. Ah, let me fly over the way. <laughs> um, that uh, it's a little disappointing these days. I prefer that some developers are actually giving out frame rate targets, graphic settings, resolutions, multiple tiered chart, and we don't have that here. Maybe we'll get one later, but at least for now we don't. So we can get the minimum recommended. I can help you understand this chart a little bit more. And that's about it. So um, I could speculate on frame rate targets. Also, we can compare this to the 2019 grid game, which should also give us a little bit of interesting info because watch this. This is the 2019 grid. I'm gonna flip back and forth, okay? And I want you to notice something, okay? This is the current one. Notice our uh, recommended GPUs are GTX 1080 and an RX 590. And now I'm flipping over to the 2019 game, also recommending a GTX 1080 and an RX 590. Also these same CPUs, okay? So basically the recommended system requirements for this new grid game are identical to the 2019 game, but the minimum requirements have changed. The minimum requirements for this game are giving us an NVIDIA GTX 950 and an AMD Radeon RX 460. So these are pretty low system requirements, although the old 2019 game was much, much lower. Honestly, these are kind of like shockingly low. And I was trying to find some benchmarks on a GT 640 for this game. And the, in the amount of time that I had, I just couldn't find it. Again, this is the 2019 game, um, but that's a really old and really weak graphics card. So I have a feeling that these minimums might've been targeting like not even 1080p and we're talking like 30 FPS, like everything on lowest settings, 720p, 30 FPS, something like that. Because a GT 640, uh, well, I mean, let's just pull up a uh, actual relative performance chart, okay? So a GT 640 was the old minimum NVIDIA GPU recommendation. And now we're recommending a uh, GTX 950. So if we scroll up through this list, we have to go quite a ways to get to the GTX 950, which is 368% performance. Now these are so far apart that this chart can get a little bit wonky anyway. Um, but that would be about 3.68 times the performance of the previous recommendation. So our recommended settings are staying the same, but the minimum settings have been more than tripled. So that's really interesting. Although again, a GTX 950 isn't super crazy. Now, if you're like, well, where, so again, talking about the current minimum recommendations being a GTX 950 and an RX 460, let's help you figure out where your GPU stands in comparison to that. So here's our 950 and here's our 460. So if we set the 460 as the baseline, again, this is a two gigabyte graphics card, by the way. So it looks like you're not gonna need a huge amount of VRAM to run this game on low settings. Um, then the 950 is pretty close to that, right? So these are roughly on the same performance tier between the NVIDIA and AMD recommendations. If you wanna know where does your GPU stack up? Well, if I scroll up here, you can see these percentages. This is what kind of percent of that performance you would get. So as you're below 100%, you're not hitting these minimum requirements, right? But if you're, if you're on one of these GPUs I'm scrolling through, you'll see how, how, how much of that per, uh, performance that you would be getting. Then as I scroll the other way, you can start to see you know, how much better performance you could get. Now, let's jump up from the GTX 950, which is our minimum GPU, and then let's scroll up to our recommended GPU at the GTX 1080 and see what kind of a performance jump they're going from minimum to recommended. So if we go from the minimum GTX 950 and we scroll up, and again, you can find your GPU in here possibly, depending on which GPU you have, right? Here's our 1050 Ti right, GTX 780. Uh, we're doubling the performance right now for, uh, when we get to around a GTX 970. Um, GTX 1060 is more than double the minimum in this game. So let's say the minimum was targeting 30 FPS, then your GTX 1060 is probably gonna get 60 FPS at those same settings, right? That'd be how you could read that. But then going up to the 1080, um, we're getting over three times the performance of the 950. So I, I don't know what exactly that means <laughs> uh, in terms of performance, again, because we can only speculate so much. 
Um, but if I did want to speculate, uh, here I'm going to go for it. I'm going to say that the minimum system requirements on the old 2019 game, the reason we've jumped up so much to get to this one, is because the old 2019 game was probably targeting below 1080p, low settings, and 30 FPS-ish. And I think that the newer game is up in, more in line with what people really think of as the minimum playable settings on a current PC game, which would be more like 1080p, 30 FPS, um, maybe even 60 FPS if it's on the absolute lowest settings. And then I'm going to say it's probably still only 30 FPS, but that we might have moved up to 1080p low. And that's why we see this bigger jump from the from the low minimums in the uh, in the previous game. Whereas I think the recommended settings are saying about the same because I actually pulled up footage of somebody playing. This is I got this from a very small YouTube channel here, but assuming this is good good data. Um, uh, this is apparently a 1080, uh, uh, sorry, an RX 590, which is the AMD GPU that was the recommended uh, for this game um, back on the 2019 game. Again, this is the 2019 game. And it does appear to be going well over, uh, not even 60 FPS, but we're up in the 80s, 90s, things like that. As you jump around, sometimes it goes over 100. So I don't know if this is a particularly demanding track or a particularly easy track, but the point is, at no point is it even near 60 FPS. It's always well above that in this gameplay footage that I could find. So I think the old game was what recommended settings were above 1080p 60 FPS. So the new game, I would say, is probably at least 1080p 60 FPS because it looks like they had room to push the graphics settings a bit and still hit um, 60 FPS at these targets. So I'm going to say that I think the recommended settings in this game are going to be 1080p 60 FPS at at least the higher ultra settings. And I think that the minimums uh, are probably targeting 1080p 30 FPS at the low settings. And that would explain why we would more than double the, the uh, recommendation from a 950 to a 1080. Remember, that was, that was basically uh, a little bit more than tripling, because you would need to double to go from 30 FPS to 60 FPS if you were just staying at the same settings. And then you would need more than doubling if you're going to go from low settings to ultra settings, for example, right? Uh, so that's what I think uh, these are targeting. Again, that's my speculation, though. I can't, uh, I can't guarantee it. Now, on the CPU side of things, uh, there's nothing too crazy here. Um, we're basically seeing uh, an i3-2130 and an FX4300 for your minimums. Those are really old CPUs, and if you don't have at least that, I mean... I don't know what to tell you guys. Um, isn't, isn't that like an old dual core or something? I don't think that's even quad core. All right. Um, now the i5-8600K and Ryzen 5 2600X are much more reasonable mid-range processors from a, still from a few years ago. So nothing, nothing too crazy here. And it looks like that they're the same ones that were targeted in the 2019 game, right? Um, so it's, and we saw that these were, were hitting well above 60 FPS from that gameplay footage that, uh, well, actually, I don't know if that was on these processors. So scratch that. But the point is, I think these are going to do absolutely fine. And these are six core processors from several years ago. So uh, I don't think the CPU requirements in this game are, are crazy at all. Um, overall, this looks like it's going to be a fairly reasonable game to run on, on older hardware, which is good to see in the current graphics card market. And uh, what do you guys think? Let me know in the comments section. Is this a game you're interested in? I hope all of you have an excellent day.